Is everyone excited? Woo! I am. We're going that way. Go, Mookie, go! Oh, that's a good idea. Just set it in the trunk and then put it on. That's the hardest part is putting these packs on. They're so heavy, it's like you're going to pull a hernia just trying to put the pack on your back. <laughs> we gotta take pictures, cuz. <laughs> Shut up, truck! We're trying to be in the wilderness! Before you understand, the important Appalachian Trail, Appalachian Trail North. Here we go. This place is supposedly really cool. Gonna go there, but not tonight. It's a little late tonight. So, here we go. <laughs> so, this is day one, and we're just gonna go in a little ways and find a nice spot off the trail and uh, make camp before it gets dark. I'm already tired. I'm not going to say anything though. They probably are too. So this is uh, night number one and um, we set up camp and we put up the bear bags which we put any of our smelly food um, in some bags and kind of strung them up over a tree. And uh, I'm in my tent right now, kind of set up the tent. Um, Mookie's got a hammock, and Addie's got a tent kind of next to me with, with, her, with her dog. And uh, so I was kind of looking through my pack, making sure my pack was all ready for tomorrow. And uh, I also got my cooking stove, which I'll test out tomorrow, kind of see how that works. But uh, yeah, it was a little chilly. I'm I'm fine now though. I'm nice and wrapped up in the in the uh, sleeping bag. But it wasn't. Oh, you probably can't see me. It wasn't so bad. Um, it as long as you know you were dressed for it. I think it's down in like mid 40s. Low 40s, I think, actually, is what I said. What I what I read before I left. But uh, yeah, we got the, um, I got some pepper spray just in case. Hopefully, we don't need that. And uh, a water bottle, which is um, half full. And I don't know how far away the camp is, but the guy said it was an hour walk um, downhill. So. Uh, we decided when we came and parked that we were going to walk, try to walk to it, but it was a little grueling, especially at night, and we were a little bit nervous walking at night. Um, so we found a flat spot and made camp, and I was getting tired because we'd been going all day driving, and uh, so I was ready to kind of relax for the night. I got some water in, in my bag, in my uh, water bag, but that, that water tastes horrible. I'm going to, I think I'm going to empty it out and try again tomorrow and hopefully it tastes better because it tasted like straight up plastic. Gross. But I'll have to drink it if that's all I have. A beautiful night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. So, bright and early, a little cold morning. Um, I was, I was a little chilly, not too bad. My feet were cold last night. I've got every layer of clothing on right now. But check out this morning. There's my tent right here. Little one man tent. Poor Mookie was cold last night in her hammock. 
but this is supposed to be the coldest night, and hopefully maybe tomorrow is going to be a little warmer. So they say. We're higher up in elevation, so we'll see. I'm going to set up my little stove and make a cup of tea and start my morning. I love mornings. Alright, y'all. This is my stove in the works. <laughs> so, I... There's like a half of, like, really heavy aluminum. And then a tuna can. And then I just filled up some alcohol. And, well, I put like just about that much alcohol. I'll see how much is used to like boil water or how much I'm going to need for each thing. But I used about... <coughs> this isn't like fully full. I used about like... And it kind of goes thinner, so... So I'm making some tea and some coffee. And uh, we're going to have to pull our bear bags down. <laughs> If it wasn't dark last night, it would have been actually kind of funny to film the airbag thing. Oh my god, I think we are so tired. Okay, so it took about that much to boil water. So probably about a tuna can full of alcohol. It is a little chilly this morning, so maybe that um, affects it. My camera's out of focus. What kind of bug is that? Day two! We left our camp. There's our camp. And we're heading north. Uh, there's a water source about two hours away. There's also another one that's um, not as good, but it'll be something. And then uh, then we'll go to Choa ba Bald. Choa Bald, I think. Yeah, I so we're just kind of making sure our packs are adjusted before we go. I think mine is okay. Uh, I tried not to tighten my hip belt too much because, wow, last night I over tightened it and it was like my kidneys. Um, I didn't wear anything warm to hike in because I knew I was going to get kind of hot. So I'm a little cold right now, but I know I'm going to warm up. So uh, Here we go. Day two, spirits are up, everything's good. Eddie! <laughs> got a fire going. Boiling some water. We got some water down on a stream down there. And uh, I'm boiling it up. I'm gonna boil it like crazy. It should be drinkable then. I gotta get more fire wood, so. I boiled the living crap out of this water. It was actually boiling, bubbling over this. So this should probably be pretty good. Steam rising off it. I let it go for a while. So this is how they did in the old days. They had to boil their water. Addie's got like a particle thing that can filter out all the dirt and grime. And there you go. We've walked three miles already, actually, from yesterday to today. Um, water tastes good. I feel good. I put a little lemon in my water. Uh, we stopped and had lunch. Uh, I had some tuna packets, a couple of those, because I was getting the shakes a little bit, and an energy bar. I'm trying to keep myself hydrated. And um, all right, we're on. I don't know what I can leave here. Look, somebody left a cucumber face. Got to keep looking at, at everything when you hike. You kind of forget about that when you're hiking around. But it's pretty. I hear something in the bushes. Oh, I think it's a squirrel. It's just so pretty with all these leaves right here. We're all taking a breather. Mookie's in shape. She's not even breathing heavy. Addie's doing pretty darn good too. 
Me, I'm breathing heavy. We saw a waterfall up the, the way. A little tiny trickle, but at least it's coming from the top of the mountain. That's a good water source. There you go. <sighs> Filled up the water for the dog. Wow. Gotta take pictures. I've gotten a lot of good ones. This is cool, y'all. I went in so many times and haven't gotten blisters. Yeah, me too. These are like thick socks. So, here's the camp. Daisy, I am so... There's a fire pit crying. over there. I am walking like a weirdo right now. I'm so stiff right now. <laughs> I smell so bad. Are you kidding me? Smell great. <sighs> smell like the wilderness. <laughs> I think a bear would r r mistake me for an onion. <laughs> you kind of have the onion smell to you. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's my tent. We find the water tomorrow. Yeah, we don't need it tonight. Yeah. I think we should just work on getting a fire going. Yeah, fire and making some dinner. Everybody excited? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, holy. yeah. Mookie. Mookie is Pocahontas. Oh. <laughs> Addie is Squirrel. And me, I was Sailor Girl, and then they turned me into, what did you turn me into? Grandmother Willow. Grandmother Yay. Willow. Grandmother Willow. <laughs> she is a grandmother. I kind of look like a willow tree. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, see that swinging item over there. There's a rat on it. The only thing that doesn't have food. There is a blister. I got another one here, but it's not as bad. Some wipes. I'm gonna clean my feet. Much better. Guys, I might be changing my career choice. Be an outdoors woman. Sometimes being out on the water, you kind of miss the mountains and the trees. This is so pretty out here. Now, I don't know how it'll be during rough weather. It sounds like there's going to be rain at the end of the week. We're going to find out if these girls want to push on or if they want to turn around or what their plans will be. We're going to have to figure that out. Because um, there is going to be some rain. It's going to affect the moods. But we're having uh, some coffee and tea around the campfire. Morning. And our water source is actually down here. It's it's coming out of an iron pipe that's uh, coming up from the very top of the mountain. But I'll show you the water source. Follow me. See, this is perfect right here. Got your clean mountain water coming down. I could live right here. Well, we're all packed up again, and we're getting ready to do about a mile hike <laughs> up the mountain, getting all our food together. Oh, that's the dog food. Daisy's food. Addie's packed. We were packing it up, and all of a sudden we saw some water at the bottom of it, and we were like, oh no, we thought the, the bladder broke, but it didn't. It was just leaking out of the little nozzle thing.